Okay, this video is going to cover how to grow faster and I'm going to make suggestions of how to grow faster. Now, you do not have to use these suggestions, but I'm making this video to help you and all of my videos are to help you guys. Uh, so I'm going to cover five basic things that will help you um, grow faster. Now, two of them are about events that you can use. The other two things are utilizing things that the game offers and um, another one is just a trick that you can use that you don't uh, I don't know if a lot of people will have the patience to do the last trick uh, first and foremost let's go over the events and we're going to go over the top number one thing that you can do to grow faster and that is the inferno solo event okay Every single time you use this, it lasts for three hours. And then there's a rest period between the events about five minutes, All right? So this started about two and a half hours ago. I haven't gotten any points, but when you are gaining points, I do have a video on Inferno on how to use this. I will put the link in the comments in the description below. The one thing that I need to update on that video is that you cannot demolish and rebuild to gain points. That's that's something the game makers finally caught on to that people were doing. You can't do this anymore, right? Use Inferno. Not only can you get some crazy rewards, like goal one, goal two, goal three. This is a lot of speed ups you can get here. This happens every three hours. Use it right um the other event that is awesome and it is the boost up frontier pioneer this happens every couple of weeks the monday after avas so svs happens one week avas happen the next week and so every couple of weeks the boost up frontier happens all right it, ha it starts, and it only lasts for three days, it starts at game reset on Monday morning. What that means is I'm going to go out here and look at the chat box at the top. In the lower left-hand corner of the chat box, you see it says 0331. That means that's what the current game time is. So in order to know when the reset's going to happen, it has to be 00 colon 00. zero. And that's when you know the reset happens and it happens on Monday. So I'm in Colorado in the U.S. Currently right now it's 9.32 p.m. on Sunday evening. So the game is ahead of me. So I don't think about it being reset on Monday morning. My time, I think game time, because I think it goes by UTC. We have people all over the world. So we need to understand when people are saying game reset or game time they're referring to that time in the lower left hand corner we all see the same exact time no matter where we are because the game never changes that time right so let's go back to boost up for frontier when you click on it the reason why this is a really important event you can save up and use all of your speed ups you can use all of your resources that you're gathering to really really maximize out this event it only lasts for three days every couple of weeks the reason why you get it doesn't matter what you can claim and this the what you can claim changes every every day it's that little line right in the in the middle there underneath the countdown it says come use boost of reduced 50 percent research building training resource costs for task rewards and a stronger town. This means, because this event's happening right now, let's go out. If I were to train some troops, say I wanted a full complement of carbon riders, normally without this event, it would cost me 8.8 .8 million for food, 8.8 .8 million for rocks, 6.6 .6 million for iron, 4.4 million in sil silver. Well, right now, because of this event, it costs half that amount. How cool is that? 
the same thing for your building. Now, I was a little bit stupid and I was a little bit anxious and I really wanted to get this started. My town center, I'm building up from 25 to 26. Yeah, I'm still pretty teeny weeny, but I was spending 60 million, 60 plus million logs, rubble, blah, blah, blah. Now, right now it shows what it would cost to build it up to 26 because it's currently being in the process of uh, building up to 26. If I would have waited till Boost for Frontier, it would have cost me half the amount that I spent. So utilizing this particular event is so important and you need to be doing it, right? This is the same thing for research. So click on anything that you research. I have my economics and comic or max. So say if I wanted to research some of my sheriff in here, I have uh, currently right now I'm cooking these two. When it's blinking, that means it's actually researching it right then. So say if I wanted to research this critical hit, normally it would cost me 16.8 million in grain, 18.3 million in silver, 10.7 million in rubble, 10.7 million in iron. But because this event's happening, that's cut in half. And so I only need half the resources. How cool is this event? Love it, love it, love it. All right. The next thing is getting speed ups. Not only can you get speed ups in the Inferno, but you can get speed ups other places like um, when you're doing uh, other events. But the main one is your treasure maps. Uh, right now I have a treasure map that has converted, so I'm going to claim it. And look at that reward. I get two hours off of a 15 map. So that's a GOB 6, a Gang of Bandit 6 that I got that from. Two, two one hours, two five hours, one 20 minute, one eight hour. I'm going to claim that. Woo, woo, woo. Now, when you start converting the next map, make sure you wait till the map bounces to the top, starts going down. So I just clicked it and that usually will get you speed ups. That will not guarantee you getting a speed up because there's always a chance you could get resources. The other day I got a, a on a 15 map, I got a 24 hour boost for, for, for like, um, like a wood production. I was really disappointed, uh, but utilize these maps to get speed ups. Now, when you are joining GOB's gang of bandits, if you are still small, you do not have to feel bad about joining a gang of bandits with a T1, but don't send a ton of T1s. If you only have T1s and you're joining a gang of bandits six with your compadres, just send one. Send one T1. It doesn't matter. That T1 will not hurt the rally. So join it. Even if you feel like you're, you're not going to help, you want that map so you can get the speed ups. Okay? Now... The other thing that's really beneficial is these second queues. Second construction queues, second research queues. The research queues, the mercenary side also has second building queues and research queues. Um, or excuse me, I think it's just second building queues available, but they only are available in a gold pack. But the second construction queues are available in the elite trade go up to the elite button click on the elite trade and if you scroll down to the bottom or not the bottom the middle here i already bought mine i bought one for today i just like to buy them whenever i had the gold the second construction queue costs two thousand in gold and you can buy that whenever you want so you don't have to wait for the gold pack to come out you don't have to spend cash if you don't want to none of the things that i'm showing you cost actual money but you will need to have gold and speed ups in order to do some of these things right so get the second construction cues right now i have two building two research and only have one training i just i haven't really needed to do any of the um uh, second queue for training and if you're utilizing 
the uh, Boost Up Frontier Pioneer event, then you can really bang this out, okay? All right. The last thing I'm going to tell you is a trick that someone shared with me that I'm having a hard time utilizing myself because I get really antsy. Is when you are opening an event mail, you click on the instant check here and it opens up and you claim everything all at once. So if you have like, like five different one of these, um, you can actually click on each individual one, open the mail so the little red dot's not popping up at you, but until you either click the claim button or instant check, you will not actually claim the rewards in the separate mails. So say if I were to just click on this and not claim it, then that reward will just be sitting in my mail waiting for me to claim it. Unlike the Alliance events where you have to claim it within a 24 hour period, this does not run out. So you can save these and not instantly claim it for a day or two days even a couple of weeks until this boost up for frontier comes on then you are flooded with gold flooded with speed ups flooded with resources and do your thing use these three days and just go to a town okay so the last thing to get a lot of resources so you don't have to collect and um gather because that could take hours um is fire farming now i've known what this is since the start of the game but i didn't like this term fire farming hasn't hasn't always been the the term used since before i left now fire farming is basically dropping your shields and hitting deads so all of these towns around here I'm not going to scout them. I'm not going to do any of that. But if you are hitting them, now this guy's force is only 3,094. Uh, this person's 1, 1 million. Uh, this is 13 million. So this probably, this 20 here, probably has some good resources. Now, if you are far fire farming, it'll drop your shield. So just be be aware you're going to you're gonna allow yourself to be hit uh you can camp your sheriff and your troops so no one can get them that is a way to protect them but a way to get resources fast is to fire farm and make sure you have a bank or a farm or something you can dump food into um that you're not going to use immediately but fire farming is definitely a good way to get resources fast so that you can do all of these things that i'm telling you it Hopefully these tips, hopefully these tricks, hopefully these events, everything that I've shared with you is going to help you because growing faster is something I hear the most about everyone. Inferno is the top number one event. It looks minuscule. It looks teeny weeny. It looks like it doesn't even matter on this events page, but it is the most important event and you need to utilize it. Watch the video that I will have about this. It'll go into a lot more detail and and just utilize it. If you guys have any questions, comments, please leave them. Find me in the game. Find me online. I am willing and, and ready to help you if I don't get back to you right away. I do have a really busy life. I go to work. I have school. I make these videos. I, <laughs> I do a lot of stuff. I am willing to help you. I'm part of my own alliance. I'm not as busy in my alliance as some of the people, but I want to help you. I make these videos to help you guys. So please, please like, subscribe. I appreciate it. It's something you can do uh, back for me and help me by liking and subscribing and sharing these with everybody else. I hope you guys got um, some great uh, tips from this video and uh, have a great day. Stay positive. All right. Bye guys.